the Editors Forum of Namibia and Partners honored local journalists in print, broadcast and podcast media in various categories such as investigative journalism, health, education, business and innovation, agriculture, environment and sports. The executive chairperson of the Namibia Media Trust, Gwen Lister, stressed that journalism in Namibia still has a long way to go in terms of excellence against mediocrity to win the public's trust. There are a number of serious challenges to be overcome for journalism not only to survive, but to thrive. The first is the fact that impunity for crimes against journalists persists globally and we need to bring an end to that. The second thing is that journalists and the media fraternity as a whole is actively engaged in the search for so solutions to media sustainability. And this is a huge and almost insurmountable problem that we are facing at present. Thirdly, it is imperative that the quest for excellence amidst mediocrity and worse must be intensified for us to win back public trust and support. And fourth, journalism, I believe, has a very key role to play in trying to win back this public trust and support and to curb the widespread obsession with clickbait and also the disinformation which is so prevalent on social media and to ensure that it is not exacerbated by deteriorating standards in the media. A moment of silence was observed in remembrance of all journalists that lost their lives at the expense of exercising journalism, with some murdered for investigating horrifying truths and untold stories. Guest speaker at the awards was renowned award-winning Saudi Arabian investigative journalist Safa Al Ahmad, who shared the story of her colleague and friend Jamal Khashoggi, who paid the ultimate price for truth-seeking with his life in October 2018. Jamal had gone into the consulate and never came out. What did come out were the gruesome details of the last 10 minutes of his life. The argument, the drugging, the vomiting, the choking, the silence, the gota. Relentless, dedicated journalists are what kept the Saudi feet to the fire until they finally admitted, begrudgingly, to their crimes. Much will be said about Jaman's life and death, but ironically, his death has made the deaths of tens of thousands of Yemenis more visible. Everyone seems to have woken up to the flagrant violations of human rights by the Saudis in the war in Yemen because of his death alone. Minister of Information and Communication Technology Stanley Simata touched on the critical role journalists play in a country, most especially to keep politicians in check and accountable. As much as those of us in government might not enjoy the old tussle with members of the media fraternity, and this happens you know, from time to time, most, if not all of us, as public representatives, acknowledge that media plays a pivotal role in ensuring accountability to our people. Certainly, a vibrant, independent, and ethical media is the bedrock of any democratic society. As we recognize your immense contributions to your profession, and our country here today, I'm very much aware that you continue to toil against the backdrop of heightened challenges that are facing traditional media institutions. Prizes were received at the end of the night with the Patriot newspaper's Matthias Haufiku scooping the award for investigative journalist, the Namibian newspaper's Shinovene Emanuel scooping the business journalist award, and One Africa TV's Isai Sipunga taking the award for videography, 
and 99 FM's Kirsty Watermere for best podcast, each walking away with 10 Namibian dollars.